and again these universities have a lot of courses or degree programs to choose from one very important thing i want to draw your attention to is that applied science universities they do have scholarships it's either you get a tuition waiver like if you pay your tuition on time they can waive some of them can take out a particular portion of your tuition fee or what's up beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today if you are looking for study abroad opportunities videos papers research good information excellent information this is the channel you should be following from now henceforth if you are new here please subscribe if you are old please like this video new people please like and subscribe to this channel and make sure you share this video with one family member because this is where the real gold mine is my name is milton if you are just joining welcome to our youtube channel please do not forget to share this video today's video i'm going to be talking about a country in europe and this country is finland the reason i choose to talk about finland today is because finland is going to be opening its doors for international students come january 4th to apply so that they can start their lectures in this beautiful european country come august september 2024 so in this video i'm going to be talking about some important things which include general information about finland that's point number one i will equally talk about requirements things you need to have in order to apply for universities in finland i will talk about some of the universities in finland to consider and just a recap i would be focusing on applied science universities in finland the reason is because applied science universities are somehow affordable and again these universities have a lot of courses or degree programs to choose from one very important thing i want to draw your attention to is that applied science universities they do have scholarships it's either you get a tuition waiver like if you pay your tuition on time they can waive some of them can take out a particular portion of your tuition fee or if you have ambition some of them can consider you automatically for 50 percent scholarship and does your tuition fee is going to reduce and some will equally give you an advantage to study for one semester in finland before the next semester you can now apply for a scholarship which means that most of them they will now consider the number of ets ects credit units you have gained for that particular semester and then afford or um how do they put it or give you the scholarship so these are some of the things i will be discussing in this video but again do not forget when you gain admissions in finland you are going to pay tuition deposit before you proceed to visa application otherwise you if you are exempted from this it means you have a fully funded scholarship or you actually gain admissions in free vocational schools which include vamia but do i support the fact that you should apply to vocational training institution in finland yes but again you have to be calculative because most of these schools are usually very competitive and a lot of international students want to of course study for free so without wasting time let's proceed with the video general information you should know before you start your application in finland I include one finland have bsc programs they equally have msc programs and they have vocational training institutions that would teach you in english language this is advantage number one and again remember there are 22 universities of applied sciences in finland and i will give you a list of all those 22 so for your own best interest or for your interest please stay till the very end of this video watch the video like the video share the video and do not forget to remember everything i'm going to say here point number two if you gain admissions in finland you can migrate with your family or your spouse now point number three when you migrate with your family just remember that before finland has increased their working hours which means that you as the student you are going to work 30 hours a week while your dependent your spouse or your dependent can work full time so you have to put this into consideration 
In Finland, there is a particular quota of money you need to apply for permanent residency and you also need to pass the Finnish language. There are videos on this YouTube channel to explain more to you. If you are moving to Finland, you have to first of all pay your tuition deposit after you gain admissions and the best option for you as of now are universities of applied sciences i'm going to explain to you some of these universities again remember the money you need to have as proof of funds money must be in your personal bank account before you can apply to study in finland and how much is this money as an international student, as of now, you are watching this video, you need 6,720 euros. Calculate that to your own local currency to apply for a residence permit to study in Finland. And this money must be in your personal bank account. This cannot be in your sponsor's account. But for those moving with their wife or their husbands, you guys can have one account, a joint account, a family account, or the husband account, or the wife's account. I hope you understand me. In Finland, the application that is going to open in January, you can apply for six different study programs, which means that if you go to one university, you find a program, you click and apply, you choose again the next university. If you see a program, you apply like this, like this. You can choose six different degree programs to study in Finland. But remember, at the end of the day, they are going to select you only for one. Then again, one fascinating thing about this Finnish application, it is called the University of Applied Sciences Joint Application U. S A University of Applied Sciences UAS. I beg your pardon. It is called the Joint Application, which resumes on the the fourth of January, and there is no application fee. Now, just look at the opportunities here. No application fee, and you apply for six different programs. Which means that if you do not go in this time in this particular universities, it means village people are after you, right? So please pay attention to all these things I'm saying and make sure you put in a solid application. You can do these things absolutely without the help of anybody. If you listen to me, you do more research, you listen to others, not just me, you are going to succeed. Remember, there is an entrance examination after the first phase. After the closing date of the online application, there is an online examination, entrance examination, where a lot of people will be dropped from the application if you do not qualify. So this brings me to the next section. Please make sure you take the Duolingo exam or you take the IELTS exam. If you fail to take this exam, if you apply without any of these results, just know that you would be disqualified. We are not sugarcoating anything here. I'm giving you knowledge so you take it and utilize it. If you joke with it, it is not my business. Again, just a few days, somebody moved to Canada from this channel, from my page, from my Facebook page, and it's not been one day. Another person texts me. That person, that lady, I remember texts me in July. And yet, a few days back, I think three days now, the visa was approved for Austria. These are people who are going. And it's not been almost a month. A Nigerian texts me that she was going to Austria. I still have all the text messages. I can put them on the screen here because I'm not talking from space. There is a lot. There are a lot of people who are taking the information and using it to their satisfaction and they are getting results. So please, put it into consideration and take this very seriously. You do not need legalization to apply for Finnish universities. But if you are moving with your family, you would need to legalize some documents. Example include your marriage certificate. So please put this into consideration and make sure you take everything. There is no age limit to study in Finland. Yes, I'm 40, I'm 38, I'm 42. Milton, will I get the visa? If you do not do it, how do you intend to succeed? Come on, go and apply. There is no age limit. There is no way Finland have said or have not seen it on any school website. Maybe they are going to implement that later. But as of now, there is no age limit. I know there are schools in Lithuania, in Norway, that always ask for age limit. But as it stands right now, there is no age limit to study in Finland. So please go and apply. Now, remember, this does not need, though I said you can apply alone, but you are not going to be sleeping. 
and expect to apply a loan if you don't watch my video to the end or listen to me or follow my post on facebook you cannot do this alone effort is needed that's where i'm driving to you need effort you cannot be sleeping day in day out and you expect to succeed in this study abroad is back to back effort i hope you understand now where is the application going to be done the application to finland is going to be done on the website called studyinfo.fee I'm going to link it in the video description box and if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me a call session book from the video description box or check my facebook pages and book from there or let me know then vamia college is a vocational institution in finland which has a free study program like if you study if you apply and you're selected you study for free during the visa application you still need to show bank statement or proof of funds to show you have money they only sponsor your academics which is free so you need to pay accommodation and feed yourself which is not from the school pocket so vamia college is already open but again i will not advise you as of now to apply to vamia the reason is simple Vamia is highly competitive. So do not say that I didn't tell you. Maybe they are looking for 20 people, but are just in Nigeria, just in Cameroon, just in Pakistan, just in India, how many people are applying? And again, they have just two or three courses, the cook program. I think there is another one, mechanical filter and stuff like that. So it's so competitive and few scholarships. One advantage in Finland, very important advantage is there are a host of scholarships. One, the Finnish government scholarship, which is not something I would really say pay attention to it and apply to it. But if you can persevere, apply to this scholarship. However, these universities, I'm going to give you right now the list of the universities. Remember I said there are 22 of them. These universities have a host of scholarship. One, if you apply to them and pay a tuition on time, they can give you tuition fee deduction or reduction. That is one form of scholarship. Some will say move to Finland. Then when you study and get a particular ECTS pay the first semester, you can now apply for your tuition to be waived during the second semester. That is another advantage. And a whole lot of some will automatically slash your tuition into two, which means that if your tuition is six thousand or eight thousand dollars or euros, you are going to pay four thousand immediately. You gain admissions to this school. It is very important. So listen to the schools and make sure you put them into consideration or take a look at them the first school is novia university of applied sciences like i told you earlier on i'm focusing on applied science universities because a lot of them they have scholarships they have a lot of advantage they have a lot of courses okay so please take a look at them we have a karelia university of applied sciences university number two number three is Olu University of Applied Sciences. Then we have Southeastern Finland University of Applied Sciences. We have JAMP University of Applied Sciences. JAMP is J M M J A M K. Then we have Lapland University of Applied Sciences. Lapland is L A P L A N D. Then we have Central University of Applied Sciences. There is Metropolia University of Applied Sciences. There is equally Haga Helia University of Applied Sciences. Haga Helia is spelled H W A G A. Then Helia is H E L I A. Then there is Homak University of Applied Sciences. Homak is H U M A K. Then there is Lunia University of Applied Sciences. Lunia is L A U N E A. There is Taku Emk University of Applied Sciences. Taku is T U R K U Amk A M K. That's Toku Amk. All right. Then there is Siamk University of Applied Sciences. Siamk is spelled S E W capital A M K. Then there is Samk University of Applied Sciences or Satakunta University of Applied Sciences. Then there is Diank, which is Diankona University of Applied Sciences. As a matter of fact, please, this Diankona and Satakunta University of Applied Sciences, I would encourage you to check their websites critically. Pay attention to the scholarship section, except uh, uh, also check Novia University check Haga Helia University of Applied Sciences. You are going to notice that some of these applied science universities, they do not have like certain courses 
uh, for international students because most of them offer vocational training. Okay, but again, Diang University, Satakunta, Siamk University, and Novia University, and the host of others I'm going to talk about now, make sure you check their websites very well. There is also University number 16, which is Hamk. Hame University of Applied Sciences. There is Akada University of Applied Sciences. Make sure you check Akada University's website very, very well. Chep Lak University of Applied Sciences. Tamk University of Applied Sciences. Then this one, Salvonia University of Applied Sciences. This school has a lot of scholarship opportunities. I will encourage you to check the scholarship section, check the tuition fee section, because Last year, this particular university, Salvonia, was like 4,000 euros. Then, if you applied and gained admissions, they were going to slash, sorry, 8,000 euros. Then, if you gain admission, they are slashing it into two. Then, when you pay attrition on time, they will now take out 500 euros from it. This was last year. Probably, things have changed already. But I'm going to be bringing all the details for you to enjoy i hope you understand then the last two include camp university and vasa university of applied sciences in total we have 22 of them there are other universities in finland you could check like the university of helsinki the university of southeastern finland or the university of tampere but pay attention to the tuition fee these universities go above 10,000 euros per one single program and sometimes you find some at 15,000 and how much is the scholarship they might give you a scholarship of around maybe 4,000 or 5,000 after admissions then you are going to pay 10,000 but for applied sciences you may have tuition ranging from 4,000 4, 5, 5,000 6,000 7,000 maximum in some though some still go above depending on programs Pay attention to MBA programs and pay attention to the language of instruction. I have explained everything. Now the ball is in your court. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till we meet again in another one. Bye. -bye.